Hola muchachos, ¿qué tal? Buenos días, aquí tienen el horario para hoy, jueves, el 27 de octubre. Uh, no había tarea para hoy, no homework was due for today. Your assignment for the weekend is to complete your ofrenda for el Día de los Muertos. You can click on that assignment for more information on how to go about that in anticipation of next week. Daily objective for today is twofold, to identify key vocabulary used to describe your extracurricular involvement and how to discuss that participation uh, in written and spoken form. To do for today is a little bit of a cleanup, uh, making sure that we covered everything that we had set out to at the beginning of this week. Your warm-up question is, ¿Qué te gusta más? Ser miembro de un club o participar en un deporte y por qué. So for your warm-up for today, you're going to indicate your preference, whether you participate in being a member of a club or uh, participating in a sport and why. So pick whatever one of those two and justify your response. For example, me gusta más ser miembro de un club porque mi clase favorita es arte. Tal vez tú eres miembro del club de arte, el club de para, y por eso uh, tu clase favorita es arte. O otro ejemplo, me gusta más participar en un deporte porque me gusta, perdón, me gusta jugar al golf en mis ratos libres. So, justify by talking about what your favorite class is and how that relates to your uh, affiliation with the club. Or talk about if it's fun or interesting or important. Uh, or describe things you like to do in your free time, your hobbies, your interests, and how those relate to the sports that you play or the clubs that you're a part of. So any one of those examples or your own creation for your warm-up question for today. Uh, if we didn't, we will go over the video historia, which covers the vocabulario in contexto. These are all vocabulary terms that we looked at last week, the end of last week, when you were doing your Quizlet activity uh, for extracurricular involvement. That's on pages 46. And then continued on page 47 of the textbook, encompassing your extracurricular involvement. On pages 48 and 49, we took a look at the video that is associated with this script, Después de las Clases, highlighting the extracurricular involvement of Pedro, Lisa, Angelica, y Esteban and what they like to do in their free time uh, in terms of their extracurricular involvement. All the questions there are text dependent, meaning that you can find the answers in the text. If you take a look at the videos from our previous classes, uh, the responses are covered to these questions in greater detail. And then for today, if we didn't do so already, we'll go over the vocabulario in uso, exercises four and five. For exercise four, it says, completa las frases con la palabra apropiada. So you have key terms, two key terms possible for each blank. You're going to refer to page 68, which has the glossary for all the key terms in this chapter. And then you're also going to uh, refer to page 46, which we looked at a moment ago that has all the key terms there with pictures, visual representations for help you to help you choose the correct answer for each of these. So back to page 50. Pick the vocabulary term utilizing those pages that I just mentioned that you think best fits the context. So, for example, mis amigos y yo participamos en muchas actividades extracurriculares or volvemos. 
en muchas actividades extracurriculares. Participamos is the correct answer. Because of the clue, or the context clue, actividades extracurriculares, right? It connects very well, participar does, to that context clue. Mi amiga Raquel tiene una buena voz, or tiene una buena reunión, por eso ella canta en el coro, or canta en el ensayo. Canta is our key word for numbers two and three. Canta is the verb cantar, to sing. So that's how we know that voz, which is voice, and coro, which is choir, are going to be the correct answers here because they both associate nicely with cantar. Reunión is a meeting. It doesn't really closely associate with cantar, nor does ensayo, which is a rehearsal. Coro, choir, is more closely associated with the verb to sing. So pull out those uh, context clues that will help you choose the correct answer. And for exercise five, you're reading the descriptions numbers of numbers one through five, and each description is describing one of the participants that are on pages 46 and 47, mainly on page 46. For example, animador, animadora, these are participants in cheer. Musico and musica, are participants in band. La cantante and el cantante are participants in choir. El bailarín, la bailarina are participants in el equipo de los bailarines, the dance team. And then el fotógrafo, la fotógrafa are participants in, are members of, son miembros del club de fotografía. So, fotógrafo, bailarín, la cantante, la música, el animador. You're going to pick one of those terms that best fits the description for numbers one through five. So, for example, the first one, saca fotos como pasatiempo o para su trabajo. Someone who takes pictures as their hobby, un pasatiempo, or as their job. That would be un fotógrafo or el fotógrafo. Because of the description there, taking pictures. Number two, toca un instrumento en la orchestra o toca un instrumento en la banda. Someone who plays a mu musical instrument in the orchestra or in the band would be un musico or una musica, right? So you're picking the participant that you think best fits the description in the word at the very beginning. That verb is really going to be your, your best clue, but there's some other organizations or other verbs there that they provide uh, that will help you pick the answer that's correct. Final activity is the in-class assignment, uh, E2K Dices, on exer exercise 9 on page 52. We'll take a look at that. And then again, your only other homework, uh, you're going to submit this by the end of today, the E2K Dices. And then your only other assignment is your Dia de los Muertos project. All right. Ejercicio 9, página 52. ¿Qué te gusta más, ser miembro de un club o participar en un deporte? That was your warm-up question for today. Uh, so you can go ahead and transfer your warm-up response for number one. Number two, ¿usas la computadora mucho o poco en tu tiempo libre? Do you use the computer a lot or a little in your free time? You're going to begin with the yo form of the verb usar which would be yo uso, and then pick whichever one of the two adverbs there. Yo uso la computadora mucho. 
en mi tiempo libre o yo uso la computadora poco en mi tiempo libre. Mucho es a lot, poco es a little. ¿Para qué más? ¿Para qué usas más la computadora? What do you use the computer for? The most, you're going to begin the second part of number two, just like how you did the first, beginning with the yo form of usar, and then indicate a, a purpose or a reason for which you use the computer the most. Yo uso más la computadora para estudiar. Para jugar videojuegos. Para escuchar música. Yo uso más la computadora para jugar videojuegos, leer, uh, escribir, grabar canciones, ver la televisión. Uh, give me at least a couple of verbs that you would associate with your computer use. And then finally, ¿cuánto tiempo pasas en línea cada día? How much time do you spend online every day? Use the yo form of the verb pasar. And then take a look at your screen time usage uh, under settings and then transcribe that into Spanish. Yo uso, or excuse me, yo paso. Yo paso tres horas en línea cada día. Yo paso cuatro horas treinta minutos cuatro horas treinta minutos en línea cada día how much time do you spend online every day all right number number three cuáles son las actividades más populares en tu escuela list for me five clubs sports extracurricular activities uh, that come to mind that you think are the most popular. Las actividades más populares en mi escuela son el fútbol americano, la banda, el club de GSA, el club de para, el coro, el, polo, el equipo de polo acuático, Five extracurriculars that come to mind. And then number four, ¿hay suficientes actividades para jóvenes en tu comunidad? Are there enough activities for young people in your community? It's a yes or no question. Yes or no response. C, sí, ¿hay suficientes actividades para jóvenes en mi comunidad? Or no, no hay suficientes actividades para jóvenes en mi comunidad. And for that last part of number four, what other activities must the community offer? ¿Qué otras actividades debe ofrecer tu comunidad? Mi comunidad debe ofrecer el equipo de rugby. Mi comunidad debe ofrecer un, el club de K-pop. La música K-pop. Mi comunidad debe ofrecer el equipo de lacrosse. So propose an extracurricular that you feel is lacking, that you would like to see implemented on our campus. That is today's agenda, y'all. Que tengan un buen fin de.